All right, guys, Chris Blasius here. Right off the bat, if you don't want to listen to me talking about the car I'm about to show you, go ahead, skip forward to like the seven minute mark, eight minute mark. Um, but if you're really interested in finding out about this pretty sweet car, go ahead and stay tuned and I'll tell you all about it. Actually, I'm stopped at a train, so this works out really well so I can give you my undivided attention. So I was on the phone with my buddy Mark and we were just talking about cars and everything and I was checking Craigslist while we were talking and I was like, dude, there's literally, like, I'm looking at a car right now on Craigslist right down the street from me. It's got 7,000 original miles. It's a 1982 Trans Am. It looks perfect. And he's like, dude, you got to go get it. And I'm like, there's just, at the time, there was absolutely no way. Um, that's when I was finishing kit and he still needed a ton of stuff. So it just wasn't going to happen. So in my head, I cut all ties loose. I mean, I was, I was feeling bad about it, but um, I just, there was just no way. So my wife gets home, she was asking like, what have you been up to? And I'm like, actually, I was just on Craigslist and there was a, there's a car right down the street from our house that has 7,000 original miles on it. It's a 1982 Trans Am, just like Kit, but this thing is showroom mint, blah, blah, blah. And she was saying, let's go look at it. Why don't you buy it? And I'm like, there's, once again, there's no way we can't afford it. Um, so she went out for tea, came back in from drinking tea, and she's like, I was thinking about it, I think we should go look at that car. You'll hate yourself if we don't look at it. And I'm like, no, no, I still have to finish kit, I can't afford it right now. She's like, well, what if I want to buy it? And I'm like, I don't see why you'd want to buy it, but that's awesome anyways. And she's like, no, 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 let's, let, let's just at least go look at it. So we drove there, and we looked at it, and it was nothing like it was described online. It was actually, if I could say a billion times better than what they described online, it was a billion times better than what they described online. So we looked at it and we're, and he had it priced probably what a mint condition, actually it was less than what a mint condition 82 Trans Am, but this is more than a mint condition 82 Trans Am. This is right off the showroom floor. Every single piece of this car is original. So we went home, we called the guy, offered him a lower price, he didn't take it, and we're like, you know what, there's just no way that we're not going to have this car. So we or we gave him what, we are, that, uh, sorry, we ate, or, oh my goodness, sorry, let's start that over again. We're going over trail over tracks. So we gave him what he wanted for it, and we had it shipped to the house later that day. So, to tell you about the car. The car, in my opinion, is one of a kind. There is not another 82 Trans Am. This mint, this original, on the face of the planet, unless there's one that has yet to be found. So, you might not believe me, but when I show you video in a little bit, you'll believe me. So the goal of this thing was to drive it. After we got home and started like looking at it and all the documentation that came with it, I mean, it has every single record. Um, we both agreed this car cannot be driven. It would be a sin to drive this car because it's so original, plus it's sitting on 35-year-old tires. So we took it home. I shined it up. I mean, it was already mint, but I polished it up, got it looking good, and it's been storage ever since. So today we are going to Grandma's house. I wanted to make this video just to show you everything about the car. Um, but I'm also, we bought a car capsule. So it's basically like a balloon that you drive your car into. You seal it up so no mice, no humidity, no nothing can get to it. And it keeps the car mint like it should be. And I know a lot of people just like, cars are meant to be driven. If you don't drive it, you're going to ruin it. Uh, so uh, yeah, cars are meant to be driven. If that was our only car, it would probably be stupid for us to have it. But we have a lot of other cars. So other cars that we do drive. Um, this one's just... I mean, it's it's too perfect, and you'll see it here in a little bit. And we do drive it five miles a year. We take it out a couple times a year just to keep everything loose. We start it up, let it run for a long time to burn out any condensation so we're not rusting it. But, I mean, you'll see from the video, the exhaust system looks brand new on this, and it has a dual rectifier or dual resonator exhaust. But it's been great. We entered it in a car show. It won best of the show for that year awesome I mean it's just it's a perfect car um, it has pretty much every option that 82 would have it's the black and gold edition 
no wear whatsoever, not even on the tires. It has the original air filters in it. I mean, this car is original. The only thing that's not original is the battery and the oil filter, which would be, oh, I, I thank God that it doesn't have the original oil filter on it. But, um, so the goal was to keep it, and my the way my wife thinks, she's like, if we buy it now, can we make money later on? And I said, absolutely, with as mint as this thing is, I'm seeing the third gen Trans Am starting to go up in value, and we've already been offered double what we have into it, so it was definitely a good investment. So we call it our Barrett Jackson car for fun, but it sort of is becoming our Barrett Jackson car. That's why we're investing in keeping it as perfect as it is. So it's the goal sort of was to, in five years, sell it, make a good profit on it. But with as original and as perfect as this thing is, and my truck's making a weird noise, I need a line. But uh, with as perfect and original as it is, I, I think we're just going to keep it. Unless we need the money down the road, we know we can sell it. We already know we can double the money. But if we want to, I really, I would really like to keep this thing because there's, I can promise you, I would put everything I own. Find me a better 1982 Trans Am than this one, and that's not being cocky. I mean, it, it was a diamond in the rough, or I guess that's the right saying. It was very unexpected that this thing was in a storage unit. So, or in, actually, it was in a humidified garage. So, to give you a little bit of backstory on the guy that had the car. He was a car collector. He had a bunch of different cars. He was getting up in age. He was selling all of his cars to move to Florida to retire. This was the last one that he had, and I actually believe the guy because he looked very well put together and the stuff he was driving and the way his house looked. I mean, the guy was, he was definitely telling the truth. Um, he's a second owner. He bought it from his friend, which was the original owner. He had it for five years, and now he sold it to us, so we're the third owner. He put, I think, about 200 miles on from when he bought it for like five years. We put like six miles on it in two years since we've had it. But the original owner, basically what he did, he bought it in Ohio, they moved to California, so he drove it across country to California, and then he drove it back to Ohio when they moved back. So you know pretty much the majority of the miles was from that trip. If he wouldn't have drove it to California and back, the thing would have had like a thousand miles on it probably. I don't even know how long, I think it's like 2,300 miles to California from Ohio. But very excited. This is something I've been promising people that I was going to do for a long time. And as first of all, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, this cage is doing better than I thought it ever would. And it started as Night Rider. If you don't know, I do have a Night Rider car. I do a couple of those videos back, and you can see that. I do have the WS6 that I'm souping up. So we're implementing this car into the channel. It won't be around too much because it stays in storage. But um, that car is going to be here, and then I'm praying this is the weekend of the Hellcat. So I'm getting some numbers together, and they're looking like they're going to align. So we'll have four cars for this channel. And I'm really thinking about changing the name of the channel. So if you've watched this video so long, and you want to put your comments below, should I change the name of the channel because it's more than just Knight Rider now? Or do you, or should I just keep it? I also have it. Very, probably the most exciting news ever about Knight Rider and Kit, but I can't tell you yet, but it's going to be enormous. The biggest thing I've done, and you've seen I've done some pretty big stuff with them already. This blows all that out of the water, so very exciting stuff to come down the road with that. All right, we're almost to Grandma's house. Welcome back all the people that didn't want to listen to me talk about the car. After you see the car, you'll want to go back and listen all about it. All right, this might work a little bit better. But as you can see, look how clean that exhaust is. That's original from 1982. This right here is actually just undercoating. It sort of, oh, I just peeled it off. It sort of looks like rust, but it's just the color of the undercoating that they used in 82. It's just sort of browning out, but you can just see where I peeled it off. It's perfect underneath there. But that sort of shows you the exhaust. I wish I could get out on a lift for you guys because every single component, actually maybe I'll put some pictures, every single component of this car looks perfect like that. So this is the back of the car. 
with the July 1982 license plate. Has the cold eagle on it. The Trans Ams had gold back in 82 and the Firebirds had um, silver. So this right here, our original Goodyear Eagle GT tires. As you can see, actually the guy I bought it from never drove on these tires. The day he bought the car, he's even got the receipt with it. He bought aftermarket tires. So the wheels and the original hubcaps, which these are 15 inch wheels, and the original hubcaps were never used on the car. I still have the original 15 inch hubcaps for all the wheels, but since I just keep it in storage, I do not take it out. These were from the dealer at the time. That was an option that you could go ahead and have was the Pontiac mud flaps. I'm just keeping them on for right now because that's what was original to the car. So let's go ahead and open this up. It's probably hard to see. I mean, this is absolutely perfect. The weather seals are perfect because the guy had it in a humidified place. The sun's sort of going down here so it's hard to see. But these are the original door panels, which that's just from the one I vacuumed the last time. But as you can see, the Pirella cloth is perfect on it. It does have the Pirella cloth seats, as you would expect. It's just a little wrinkle, which will come out. As you would expect, it is absolutely perfect. These are the original floor mats. Which they're a little dirty right now because anytime we drove this we put washcloths on here just so we wouldn't wear down but the video actually looks like there might be wear but that's not just the way that the carpet is sitting so the original glove box the dash is perfect okay sweet the iris went down a little bit Center console's perfect, and even like the, the lid of the center console is absolutely perfect. The back seats are just as you would expect them. They, they were buckled the day I bought them, and I never unbuckled them. Keep a fire extinguisher back there too, because you never know. You never know. But yeah, the T-top seals are perfect. As you can see, this paint is ridiculous. It's a weird cast day, so it's a little different. As you would expect in 82, the wings were painted satin black. And then here we go. The decals are absolutely ridiculous on this thing. All right, I'm just gonna take that out for a second because that will drive me crazy. I keep like I said, a washcloth so I don't wear down the carpet. But this right here is probably one of the coolest things that could ever come on a car. This was original to the car and it shows you the headlight dimmer controls that was on the stock. And the guy just never took it off. Right there is the original mileage right now, 7,000. 615 when we got it had like 7,606 I believe so in two years that's what we put it on nowhere whatsoever on the Pirella cloth here this is the antenna I have to take it off when I put the car cover on as the seat belts 82 was the only year that they did the seat belts like that the only thing if I could critique about this car, which is probably going to need a dress someday, is the headliner is just a little saggy. I mean, it's not sagging, it's just got a little bit of wrinkle in it, but nothing like you would expect from an 82. So here's this panel. So this right here 
the dealer option was to have the Rusty Jones um, undercoating done, which is what the car has. Sort of wish it didn't have it, but it was a really clean job, so you can't really even tell. Super smooth. But you can see the door right there. Absolutely no dips or wrinkles. Usually these have something, but nothing. Going over, I mean, here's the original tires. You can see that it still even has the green marks on the original tire. I wish I could get in there a little bit more, but I can't. From the hood. Absolutely perfect. Over to this one. I mean, look at this paint for a factory paint job. It's crazy. All right, let's go ahead and start this thing up. Fires up pretty easy. Better view of the dash. Absolutely perfect. Seven thousand original miles. I'll pop the hood for you guys. condition looks like underneath the hood you can literally eat off this engine the original hoses right here from GM it still has the GM markings all the way to here original GM markings all the hoses are original I mean they are soft still type of tarnish doesn't have tarnish whatsoever. Another GM marking right there. I mean even these are usually yellowed out. It's as perfect as perfect can be. All the original clips. Even that's original down there. Absolutely gorgeous car. The block is fuel like it should be. Crossfire injection. Say what you will about these motors. If you don't have vacuum leaks, they run like a champ. That's usually what the case of these were. Another walk around. Like I said, it looks a lot better with the hubcaps on, but it is what it is for right now. They're actually in the back. It does have the privacy cover. Mm -hmm. 
no sun damage whatsoever. Absolutely mint. I mean, even if you go down to looking at these decals, there's no wear on this vehicle whatsoever. Fuel injection. The gas cap. So cool. Definitely one of my favorite vehicles ever. I mean, even if you look in here, that's 35 years old. Look at the rubber. No dirt. Like, even these are usually worn a little bit. Not on this car. That's it guys. I think these are even the original wipers. Oh, and we got a friend. Alright guys, hit me up with any questions you have about the car. Like I said, we won't be selling this for a long time if we ever even do sell it. But, there it bees. It's going away for storage. Actually, I'm going to put it in the car camp cocoon right now, so stay tuned. Okay. Garbage can in the way. That's fine.